Have you ever wondered how you could know the difference between the real and the false? Like, what do you do with the prophetic? We know that there's the true prophetic from God, and we know that there's false from the enemy or from the flesh. We know that there's true signs and wonders from God, but we know that there's a real enemy out there too with false lying signs and wonders. We know that. So how do you discern the difference? How can you be sure? Well, we have a uh, DVD teaching, of course, online called um, The Wheat and Tares Beware, which teaches you not only um, how to discern, but uh, what to do about it when it does happen. Because Jesus said uh, there would be tares that would grow up with the wheat so that we need to discern. But right now I want to introduce my good friend to you, Joshua Mills, and he has some thoughts that are going to help you understand the difference and how to discern between the difference. How do you know the difference between the true and the false? Here he is. There's many different doorways into the supernatural. There's many different avenues into um, these experiences, these encounters. But there's only one way into the divine supernatural, into the prophetic flow of heaven, and that is through uh, the cross of Calvary, through the blood of Jesus Christ. And the difference between, uh, you know, the psychic flow or the, the supernatural flow from mediums or, or, you know, the tarot card readers, or the, that different supernatural activity is that that is all stemming from a spirit of fear. It comes from the enemy and it comes from a spirit of fear and there's control and there's manipulation and it's all about controlling the person and manipulating the person whereas the prophetic flow that comes truly from God is a, a message that comes with love comes with enablement comes with peace um, there is so much rest and uh, joy that comes in the prophetic word from God then when God begins speaking it's continually encouraging you in your walk in the flow giving you insight direction where you should go what you should do but not a manipulation but an encouragement that you would be built up that you would be strengthened that everything about you would be um, empowered to be a greater person and not walk under the fear or intimidation um, like something's going to happen or something bad's going to take place or I, I can't go there or I can't do this and I can't I can't say this I can't say I can't see this person can't see that person it's you know that's a whole control fear issue um, but when we step into that prophetic flow from God it comes to encourage us and enable us and every single person is able to hear from God I believe that every single person wants to hear from the supernatural hear from that unseen realm um, because the unseen realm is so much more real than the seen realm. Um, in that invisible realm is truly the reality of every single person. And everybody is wanting to know what's real. Everybody wants to know what's really going on. Everybody wants to know the purpose of life. And all of that's available in the prophetic flow that comes truly from God. There's um, times that I've heard people speak and said, well, you know, I'm hearing from Jesus. I'm being taught by Jesus, but I also hear from these other, you know, Buddha or Muhammad or these other um, gods. And the thing is this, that if you're hearing from different gods that contradict each other, the Bible says that there is only one way to the Father, and that's through Jesus Christ. He is God. He is Savior. And if there's other ones that are involved, um, they are false spirits or it's a false prophetic flow and they would be there to try to uh, discourage you and of course the message of fear comes in and the Bible says that you can cast down any demon force any demonic power anything that comes from a false God we can as Christians we we have authority over that and uh, we can cast it out and get rid of it 